Hi, David. How are you? I'm Fifi. Hi, Fifi. I'm doing good. One girl lives, one girl dies. You get to choose. This is a sequel to a movie made 50 years ago, David. On a scale of 1 to 10, what was the pressure level like in making this for the fans that have been waiting so long? 11. I think this is a movie that had a lot of expectation on it, and I tried not to let that pressure or that expectation get to me in the creative process. You're trying to take something that has that amount of magnitude and awareness around the world, um, and, and my goal from day one was to make it as personal and intimate as I possibly could at the same time communicating a bigger epic story to the world around us. Yeah, you trust it yourself, David. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's the idea. Now, the original film from the 1973 is rumored to have had strange things happen on set. What was the strangest things that happened on this film? You know, we didn't have any sort of circumstances like that. We'd, we'd taken all the advice that we had from people that had worked on the original set, and they told us all these uh, crazy stories of what had happened, and we wanted to make sure we were in a safe, far, uh, we wanted to put all of the pressure on the creative, all the um, the talent we had of artists and technicians and put that into making a supportive set, making something that was was spiritually cleansed. So we had, sometimes we'd have a, a spiritual coordinator come in and, and burn sage on set or a priest come and bless the set, things like that to be able to make sure that we entered a safe place and could go crazy within the walls of the film, but not let it seep into our reality. In an alternate universe, who would you cast as the two little girls from this pool of A-list celebrities? And by that, I mean my colleagues and I. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Um, can't I just expand? I think I would just, I, I think what I would do is I would have, I would play the possessed and then that whole lineup would play all the people trying to get the demons out of me. That would be the alternate universe. I, I'm I the one that needs the purging at this point. After, after spending the last few years in the horror movie world, Someone's got to come and get the demons out of me. That was my next question. Like, how did you sleep? Thank you so much, David, for hanging out with me today. All right, good talking to you.